hello welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how to derive equations governing motion of particles on a horizontal surface so the first one we want to look at is a box on a horizontal plane with no friction so this is a diagram that depicts such scenario so in this system we notice the block acted upon by force and we can see the reaction and the weight which is equal to mg so the equation governing this particular system is given as f equal to ma this f which is the external force when you apply it on this it's equal to the mass times the acceleration of the block which is given as this okay so the next and this force is along the horizontal so along the vertical we can see that our r is opposing this particular width so that means as long as this block block is not moving vertically upward or downward means this one is exactly equal to this and that gives us r equal to w or which is equal to mg so let's consider another example a box on a horizontal plane with friction so we have a diagram like this for this scenario um we have the reaction the weight the force external force pulling towards the side and a friction which is as a result of the rough surface of the plane and the box so if we resolve the forces along the x-axis we we'll realize that our force minus this f will be equal to ma that's if the block is accelerating so we have an equation of this one f minus frictional force equal to ma now we know that our frictional force is equal to mu r so it becomes this equation reduces to f minus mu r equal to ma now that's that so we can keep this equation let's look at the forces along the vertical so we notice that this one is pointing upward this one is pointing downward and if there is no movement in this direction then this must be equal to this so we have r equal to mg now that we know r equal to mg we can substitute this wherever we see r we replace with mg in this expression and that gives us f equal to mu mg equal to f minus mu mg equal to ma and um, we can send this one to this side and that gives us f equal to mu mg plus ma we can also decide to factorize m out and that gives us f equal to uh, capital letter m mu g plus a this is supposed to be capital letter m so sometimes we might be asked find the force of this particular system when the mass is given and the coefficients of kinetic friction is given the acceleration will be given sometimes they will give you three of these parameters and keep one so once you know how to generate this formula you can calculate for the unknown so let's see the next possible scenario so a box on the horizontal plane with friction part 2 so but this time around this is what we have a box or block supposed to move in this direction but this time around the force is at making an angle to this horizontal theta now what we do for this scenario is that to resolve the forces along the x-axis we must resolve this force in this direction and resolve in this direction so since here is f to find this component of the force along this component it becomes adjacent all over hypotenuse so that's why you have f cos theta then this one is f sin theta r mg okay take note that if the force is moving from this point to this point we can also move from this point directly to this point then upward so the force acting in this direction is towards your right why the force here this f sin theta is moving upward please take note sometimes this force might be pointing towards which means push so if it is pointing downward that means this f sign will be pointing downward 
and this f cos theta will be pointing towards your left please take note of that okay so let's find out the forces along the x-axis so this is the only force along the x-axis and this is the only force along the x-axis so by the time we resolve we we'll get f cos theta minus f equal to ma so this time around we assume that f cos theta is greater than the f frictional force so let me write it first f cos theta minus f equal to ma we already know what our f is right is mu r so we have for the y axis which is r which is pointing up then this one is also a force pointing upward so it becomes plus f sin theta equal to the weight which is opposite to these two forces so this is the forces along the x-axis and this is a force along the what the y-axis okay so from the first expression which is this one we can make our f replace our f with mu r which is ma then rearrange this one so that our f sin theta comes first plus r equal to mg so when we are given a problem of this form we can find the value of f and r simultaneously if any one of these is given so please take note that this is your m is capital letter m i think it's a mistake here it's supposed to be capital letter m and this one is also capital letter m so i think that's all so let's see a typical example okay so this problem says a box of weight w is pulled by a force on a horizontal floor if the coefficient of static friction is mu s and f is the directed is directed at an angle below the horizontal derive an expression for the minimum f needed to move the box then b so so and so so we need to have a pictorial diagram of this question and a typical example is given by this so we have a frictional force reaction the weight f cos theta f sin theta the force is pointing towards the side right so if we find the forces along the x-axis we'll get this but meanwhile we're told it's a static if the equation of static friction is this find f and f is directed towards this derive an expression for the minimum f needed to move the box so it means that this box is stationary we are asked to find f needed to move this box so because it's stationary it is equal to zero no longer ma okay so let's see what we have next remember our f is equal to mu s r equal to zero right so we can take this one to the other side so that f cos theta equal to mu s r and which we have what and which we have here okay so now that we're done with all the forces are acting along the x-axis we can consider our y-axis remember our y-axis will be r plus this one minus this must be equal to zero or this plus this f sin theta equal towards mg which is w okay so we have our r which is here plus f sin theta equal to w right so we have two equations one and two right so we can make our r the subject formula f sin theta comes to this side so that we can substitute into this part so we have r equal to w minus f sin theta so whenever we see r in this equation we substitute with w minus f sin theta so let's move so our f cos theta equal to mu s w f sin theta mu s is common to both sides that's why we factorize it so we can always go back so we see f cos theta equal to mu s r right our mu s our r is w minus f sin theta so mu s will be out r will be replaced by w minus f sin theta so this is our r now from this point we can make f the severe formula right and let's see what happens or we can even expound this one because there's f here and there's f here we can expound this one and send this one to this part so after expansion this is what we have we can take this one to this part because of f collecting like times 
so we have f cos theta plus mu s f sin theta leaving this one behind from this point we factorize our f leaving this one equal to this so at the end making f the subject formula we can send this to bottom of this one and that's why we have this particular part we can decide to end our equation here our final solution here but we can make it more beautiful and let's see what comes out of it we can factorize cos theta out from these points and this is what we have cos theta out here will be 1 mu s sin theta all over cos theta sin theta all over cos theta is same as tan theta right then 1 all over cos theta is sec theta so this is tan theta 1 over cos theta is sec theta so we have an equation of this form which is a force needed to start that block to set that block in motion right okay so if you look at the question that we solved we're giving parameters mu s equal to 0 0.4 w equal to 100 theta equal to 45 when we substitute all these values into this point into this formula let's see what comes out we have our 0 0.4 times 100 times sec 45 1 plus 0.4 times tan 45 our tan 45 is 1 sec 45 is root 2 and we have this this times this will give us 40 times root 2 and this one so at the end of the day we have f equal to 40.41 newton so this is the minimum force needed to set the block in motion i hope this helps please like share and subscribe to this youtube channel Thank you.